friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india in this video we are going to observe repair of a corneal tear this is the corneal tear peribulbar anesthesia has been given very carefully just little bit of jalocane has been injected inferiorly and little bit superiorly without any muscles of the eye and now i am applying povidone iodine around the cornea not which is not coming to the corneal wound and now we can see that there is iris prolapse we have been taught that prolapsed iris is contaminated by microorganisms so we should not reposit this iris into the anterior chamber we should excise this iris so i have taken this vana scissor and this forceps and i am excising the prolapsed iris little bit of iris is incarcerated in the wound now i have taken this is moxifloxacin vigamox from alcon infiltrating this moxifloxacin to the wound to the lips of this wound and this is bss I am irrigating BSS through this wound for a nice lavage of the anterior chamber. And we can see the iris has again come to the wound. So I have asked for Visco 2% HPMC. I want to push the iris down so that this iris is not entangled in the bites of the teno nylon that i am going to use shortly so this is 2% hpmc and the iris has been pushed back and now this wound is to be repaired i have asked for a new 10o nylon and this is 10o nylon from orolab it's a beautiful suture material it causes no irritation of the tissue if the knot is buried into the cornea or sclera so this is going to be a continuous shoelace suture i have taken the first bite from the wound to the left leaf of the wound and this is the second bite the bites are being taken at a depth of about 70 to 90 percent uh, uh, of the thickness of the cornea and two bites are taken in such a way that one more bite should be accommodated in between these two bites when come back this is going to be continuous shoeless suture we can put interrupted sutures whenever we put interrupted sutures the tensile strengths or the tension of the interrupted suture should be almost equal one suture should not be tight and another suture should not be loose the continuous shoelace suture has the advantage that in a short time the apposition will be very good and there will be no tight or loose sutures it is a continuous single strength 
suture all around. So bytes are being taken. This is the fourth byte. And now I'm going to come back. And my left hand is a tooth forceps and on my right hand is a needle holder that holds the needle of the teno nylon. Now in between two bytes I am placing one more byte and coming back to the first byte. And this is continuous shoeless suture. This is a totally unedited surgery from beginning to end and you are watching each and every point of the surgery. This is last but on bite. I hope this patient will get good vision because the wound is not exactly at the center of the cornea, it is eccentric. Now see the last bite. It comes from the right leaf to the wound and then comes out. So the single knot will be buried in the wound. Now I have asked for two instruments, a straight forceps and a Macpherson. Straight forceps in my left hand and Macpherson's in the right hand and I am pulling the sutures, suture in this way so that it becomes a nicely opposed wound, not very tight not very loose of exact tensile strength and now this is the single knot as I pull the threads the knot is going in the wound this is the first bite First throw, this is another throw. And this is one more throw, one more loop. And this has become a two on on suture. Now I am trimming the sutures. Mm -hmm. Now one thread has been a little longer and it is not going into the wound. So I hold it again and very carefully I trim it again. And now the knot will go into the wound. Yes, it has gone. And now we are towards the end of the surgery. And now my plan is to do a nice lavage of the anterior chamber. And this is a stab incision at 7 o'clock by a keratome. The incision comes from conjunctiva into the anterior chamber. And this is a Simco cannula, 23G Simco. And um, using BSS for irrigation and I'm doing a very nice thorough lavage of the anterior chamber. You can see some red glow and I hope the posterior segment is okay.
so the lavage is almost done there is some clot at 11 o'clock I don't want to disturb that clot at this moment we don't know what are the things there now this is moxie fluxacin again in the wound and now I am this is hydration of the stab incision by the moxi and some amount of moxi has gone into the anterior chamber. I find that the intraocular pressure is normal and conclude the case. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical skills.